So with this project, uh, I set out about a year ago when COVID was hitting hard and lumber prices were crazy. Uh, I wanted to build a piece of furniture out of just a single sheet of plywood, just a uh, floating TV uh, cabinet for our lake house because I wanted to hide all my uh, AV crap. So this is what I came up with. It's about, uh, I don't know, I think it was 16 inches deep, enough to fit an AV receiver. I used a three quarter inch uh, sandy plywood, I guess is what they call it. It's the cheapest stuff they had. It was like 60 bucks a sheet. Bought me a little Craig jig new tool for this job. Craig uh, rip cut, see how it works. I was actually very surprised it worked very well. Uh, you know, you gotta kind of have a steady hand when you do it, but it worked good. At least for what you know what I'm doing it worked great for cutting these uh, the side walls of the, of the cabinet because you know I had to get exact same size for each uh, side and here I was doing a uh, Craig jig on the uh, pocket holes and end up cutting, putting them in the wrong side oh well glued it up as you can see, all the pocket holes because I put them in the wrong side. A little extra work, but a little extra filling, or whatever. So I had my, uh, I had to pick my nephew up from school that day. He was not feeling well. I had him hold the camera for me. And All right, here we go. We're gonna, we're gonna finish putting the glue on. So what we're doing, right? Zoom in on what we're doing. Yeah. Lots of glue. That's what keeps it nice and strong. Got my helper today. All right, here we go. You ready for this? Yes. Here it goes. Oh, 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 oh. There. Let me see. 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 Let our selfie do tape. Whoa. What happened? Oh, no. Slipped. Oh. See, Riley, you don't want that. That's bad. Don't want what? See how the screw came through? You don't want that. We're trying to make a nice piece of furniture, not a piece of junk. So I got this uh, old pine that I just ripped out of a uh, remodel that, that we just did at our lake house. <clears throat> I got a bunch of it and uh, try and rip it down and use it for the uh, frame on the cabinet, face frame. I ripped down a few uh, one inch section pieces and See if that works. Put down a couple of these little ones for the uh, small pieces. Let's do it. Check this out. Old, 100 year old, handmade steel cut nails. Pretty cool. French cleat system here. I did one on the top, one on the bottom, just so it sits flush against the wall. Uh, the trim's gonna be coming all the way out to cover this part and then across. So you don't see any of this ugliness. <clears throat> but that's it. You got done with your work early? Yeah. You didn't have centers? 
And you have to play the pop it. Sweet. Snug. All right, I'm getting there. Face frame is done. That's going to be the top. Just cut these uh, tongue and groove. Cut the tongue and groove off. That's the top. So this pine is uh, some pine, pine we ripped out of the walls that were in a, a house that we were renovating. Probably 80, you know, 80 to 100 years old. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, I wanted to try and reuse it and a piece of furniture that we're going to be putting in, you know, this is going to be going in that house. So I thought it'd be pretty neat to have something that was made out of that. Plus the cost of lumber, you know, save me a ton of money doing it that way. Had to use a ton of pocket holes and glue, but uh, I think it turned out pretty good. I used a bunch of wood filler here to try and fill a lot of the, the cracks. Probably a waste because I ended up sanding most of it off anyway, but uh, it did fill some of the bigger holes, I guess. And then I'm just cutting the uh, excess. So much sanding. And I use the uh, Zinzer one two three primer to uh, to coat the whole base cabinet because I was going to do all that white. We leave the inside, uh, you know, the maple looking kind of wood. Paint everything else white. And of course, it started raining, and I left the uh, top of it outside in the rain. Uh, so I'm bored, soaking wet. That sucks. Let's just hope it doesn't warp. This was my first attempt at building doors using, you know, mortise and tenon. All I had was the table saw, but I think they turned out all right. I used a quarter inch on the insides. And of course, I don't have enough clamps, so I was trying to make it work, but I uh, ended up looking all right when I was all said and done.
And then I painted the cabinet white and stuck the doors in there to see if they, see if they fit. Uh, the re reveals turned out pretty bad because I didn't build the cabinet square. That was one of my things I need to fix on the next one, but uh, you know, if you don't look too close, it looks all right. Pretty happy with how it turned out. Uh, you know, hides all my crap now, which is nice. Speakers fit in there perfect. And uh, thanks for watching. Any questions or comments, leave them down below. Thanks.